Um, the Agri Science Research Project is really designed to give students a chance to see a problem in their area of interest and design a research project in order to see if they can solve that issue. Um, a lot of our students will have research in the area of biotechnology or antibiotics um, technology, everything and anything. And so after they finish with these research projects, they can take the research that they find and really transfer that into the real world. A lot of these students will go to universities and participate in agricultural research at the university level and then take that further into careers after they graduate. Research project. I was greatly able to find that burning DDGs is a wonderful alternative as opposed to feeding them to dairy. It's a great way to get rid of this huge surplus of diastolar grains that the ethanol plants produce every day, and it's a wonderful way to get to use these DDGs because they're cheaper and more cost effective than corn is. Our question was whether we, whether or not we could clone in the classroom by using plant tissue cultures. We believe that we could indeed do it. At least three out of the five plants we were going to be experimenting on. What we did was we went through this book that we got offline. It's called Kitchen Cultures Kids in, and uh, we followed the instructions to go ahead and do all that. And basically, what it what it showed us to do was to how to cut up the plant and create a medium to sterilize and put it in to make the plant grow. And we have little containers we put it in, and there's gels that made it grow. And what we could use this information for is like if you've ever been to Walmart or Home Depot and they have a multitude of plants and they all look exactly the same, it's because they do use plant tissue culture so that they can find that good plant and then make copies of it. Um, and then if you want to start a business like an orchid business or an African violet business, you can just use those good plants and spread out your business. And we did conclude that it is, it is indeed possible to clone plants. However, our hypothesis was incorrect on being able to clone three out of the five. So. And the biggest problem with that was the sterilization of the plants. Because if any bacteria or anything gets inside the container, it'll actually start to grow mold and it will be avoided. So. And as the advisor, what were uh, the sort of challenges that you found? Well, as the advisor, I found that the students were able to follow these instructions really easily out of the book and, and just let them find out and make the mistakes on their own because, you know, science inquiry is very important. They can't just be told that this is what's going to happen. They have to find out what's going to happen for themselves. So at AgriScience Fair and your classroom experiences should be pretty much the same. I think where the agri-science um, opportunities are coming for students, what it's doing is opening doors that they, when, when they hear agriculture, agri-science, it doesn't click in terms of what types of careers could, that could evolve into. And what agri-science opportunities are doing is showing students that the, the work world, as we perceive agriculture, is changing, and it's changing tenfold. And when I tell them in my classroom that um, there's jobs in 10 years that don't even exist now, these are the kind of jobs we're talking about. And so these skills that you need to understand science and then take that and be able to apply and make it applicable in the work rooms where these kids are really going and I think these kind of opportunities are what students need to understand and be exposed to in order for them to, to be able to be prepared for careers in the future.